and welcome to Preppy where we revolutionize how you prepare for IELTS. In today's video, we'll be dealing with the do's and don'ts of writing. So make sure you stay tuned with us so that you can enhance your writing skills and prevent yourself from losing marks. Let's understand what you do not have to do while you're attempting your writing section in the IELTS test. First of all, do not use contractions. What are contractions? When you shrink a word, it's called a contraction. So contractions are basically when you use don't instead of a do not. So this has to be avoided when you're attempting your essay or writing a letter, right? Similarly, another example is instead of writing shouldn't, you should write should not. So why, why is it so? Because we have to sound a bit more formal and when you use contractions, it is informal in nature. So when, while you're speaking, you can use don't, but while you're writing, you cannot use don't. You have to clarify that it is do not and not don't. Next, do not use abbreviations. What are abbreviations? It is the shortened form of a word or phrase. For example, IELTS is the shortened form of International English Language Testing System. So when you write IELTS instead of the entire phrase, it's called an abbreviation. So you do not use an abbreviation in your essays or in your letter, right? It has to be written in the full form. Do not write memorized answers. Your answers should come naturally to you. There should be a flow of thought and your expression should be really natural. So you shouldn't memorize anything. There are hundreds of students who copy templates from various YouTube videos. But now the examiners are also super trained and they've come across multiple repetitive templates and they know that you are copying it it's memorized and it's not your own answer in case of your essays or your letters. So do not, I repeat, do not ever think of copying a template. Yes, you can structure your answer. You can understand how you structure an answer, but you cannot copy an answer or copy the content and memorize it by heart because that will show and that is the reason why most people, in spite of having good answers, do not score good bands because it's evident that you have memorized and you don't know what you're writing. You're just copying it. Next one, do not repeat words. See, we have repeated words plenty of times. Do not, do not, do not, do not. So what could be the other words instead of using do not? We could have used avoid or prevent or shun or do not do that. So we should not be using the same words again and again in our essay or letter. Why do we have to use variety of words because only through those 250 words in your essay and 150 words in your letter will the examiner know the amount of English that you know. So if you keep using the same words again and again, the examiner would not get to know the range of vocabulary that you have or the command over the language that you hold. So it's important that you use variety of words and my suggestion when it comes to repetitive words is that replace the word with its synonym. So it's easier. Even if you write the same word, take, take a minute, erase that word and think of a synonym. Sometimes words don't naturally come to you. So it's okay if you write a uh, student number of times in an essay, but come back again, erase that word and write pupil instead of student, right? So this way you can use synonyms and you can show the range of vocabulary that you have. The fifth point and the last point that you have to avoid is that you shouldn't be copying the question as it is in your answer booklet. Never ever do you have to think about copying your question or borrowing a line or two from the question into your answer booklet. You can instead paraphrase your question and then write the answer. So what is paraphrasing? We'll learn in the subsequent lectures, but right now you just need to understand that you have to understand what's given in the question and write it in your own words. That's basically paraphrasing. So you don't have to copy the exact same words and sentences. You have to understand what's asked out of you and then 
write it down in your own words in the first paragraph so that's how you start your answer so do not do not do not use contractions use abbreviations or answer in a memorized way or repeat words and ultimately never ever copy the question as it is in your answer booklet so these are the five don'ts having understood what should be avoided while we attempt our essays and letters let's have a look at what we should be doing to enhance our writing skills and score better bands first and foremost understand the directives this particular point is for the essays each of your essay has a directive word which could be discuss opinion agree or disagree and disadvantages and advantages so you need to underline this directive word understand what the essay is asking you to do and then answer the particular essay so this particular thing is very important because there are slight differences between each one of them and when they ask you to discuss you cannot and should not give your opinion similarly when they ask you whether you agree or disagree to a topic you shouldn't be telling the advantages and disadvantages we'll get into the details of each one of them in our subsequent lectures so that you understand what each and every directive means and what you should be doing and what you should be writing in your essays when it comes to these words so stay tuned with us and focus on what the directive asks you to do number 2 compose the right structure if you know before going to the war even the army sits in the war room creates a proper strategy understands what needs to be done in a certain situation and then moves ahead so similarly your essay is no less than a war so you need to make sure that you sit understand the question and understand what the structure should be like so once you go through the question of either the letter or the essay you must understand how your structure would turn out to be analyze make a structure for your own self outline the uh, structure and understand what you will be doing in each of the paragraphs whether you'll be straight away introducing your idea in the first paragraph or would your introduction be a paraphrase of the paraphrase of the question so this is how you structure because at times when you straight away start writing without creating a structure or an outline then you miss out on points which you you know later on think oh oh shit i forgot that particular point i should have added it here or there so to avoid this particular situation where you you know come up, pop, where, where an idea pops up and you forget where to add it so you need to create a structure and an outline for your own answer and we'll understand how to create the structure in our subsequent lectures as well third and the simplest do is that you need to adhere to the word limit yes it's the simplest thing to do which is to adhere to the word limit in case of letter you must write more than 150 words and in case of an essay you must write more than 250 words writing even one word less than these would cause you a penalty and we don't want that to happen right so focus on it write at least 150 words in in case of your letter but don't exceed more don't exceed more than 160 words when it comes to the essay write 250 words but don't go beyond 270 words at the max so yeah you need to wind up your answers say 160 words and here in this case in case of the essay you must wind up your answer before 270 words coming to the next point use the right tone in case of letters you should use the right tone when it comes to formal letter you must have a formal tone when it comes to the informal letter you must use a friendly informal tone which can be casual in nature next is your essay your essay has to be formal each and every essay is formal be it discuss opinion agree disagree advantages disadvantages each of your essay has to be in a formal language you cannot use casual words here it has to be formal in nature last but not the least add examples to support your answer in your essay each paragraph has an idea and each of those ideas should be supported with one or more examples so that it increases the length of your essay as well as supports and increases the credibility of your idea that's about it for the five do's and five don'ts 
these are enough to begin with and for you we have written down an essay question in the description below read it understand the question write down the answer and send it to the email mentioned below we will be evaluating your answers in the next four days give us four days of time we'll be assessing your answers on the same parameter as IELTS does and we'll be sending you your band score and your evaluation so that you can work harder and better so stay with us hope you like our initiative and hope you like this video if you like it please press the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.